So hi there today, I'm going to tell you about how to make patterns um, for laser cutting. So laser cutters in your local fab lab or makerspace can either cut materials like so, or they can also um, etch materials. You know, it can scratch the surface. It's a sort of and then that'll scratch the surface. This particular one is for edge lighting. Um, but I'm making a pattern for my new city that's going to be like a texture on some woods or perhaps metal that's going to be kind of futuristic. Um, so it saves making a 3D model of it. Etching it will use less materials and less time and less mistakes. So as you can see, I've got this program Blender open, but you can use whatever you use. You can use 3ds Max. I've got that here and um, whatever you want, but try to have um, there's a plugin called Greeble. So Greeble makes chunky little bits. You've probably seen it in things like Star Wars. All right, if you don't know it, I'm just going to quickly show you. So have Greeble installed whatever program you're using. Um, using Blender, you go down to um, <clears throat> you go to <laughs> Blender's interface always knocks me out. You go to user preferences, you go to add ons, you make sure you've installed it. You go to mesh and then you've got your Greeble set up there. Um, check out the link on this on my accompanying blog to get the plugin installations for that add-on in um, I was gonna say Greeble but Blender um, so let's delete this generic initial cube that comes up when you open Blender let's quickly add a plane so we go to mesh adds plane um, that's way over there because that's where it came in on. and then press S to scale edit tab edit mode control R cross there, get the cross, the purple cross up on your mouse wheel to increase the intersections or the lines that way. Do control R again, make sure it's the other way. Whoops. Oh, I didn't commit just a minute. So I committed. Okay. Control R again, mouse wheel up, left click to commit. So now we've got um, a plane that's quite got quite a lot of, well, quite a bit of faces. You need, you need this when you use the greeble so we go up to the greeble the greeble should be on your tool chef tool chef tool shelf you press t and then you go to greeble fx and you can choose a custom greeble so say if you've got a little cube or something like a building you can you can pick that but we're just going to go to greeble faces click on that and as you can see you've got um you know like cool blocks going on now um okay so i'm gonna get back to that Go back, sorry, I deselected it. Um, and then you go to amount, and I find it's really a really nice pattern. You can mess around, you can increase it, you can decrease it, but the patterns I'm liking is when I decrease the amount of um, greebles or whatever they are there. And then you get this kind of nice panel-y, space-agey, retro-futuristic um, shapes. This is a nice little effect. Check this out, offset edges. And then that can, makes it a bit more organic-y still a kind of futuristic look but kind of organic-y if organic-y is actually a word organic <laughs> okay so I'm, and then you need to basically render this out on a flat plane you know obviously you're going to do it 3d it's not going to be a pattern it's not going to you're not going to be able to tessellate it you know you're not going to be able to edit the, edit the edges so it all joins up if it's a texture or if it's on a large surface in this case it's on a geometric shape so it's going to be etched on the flat parts of this geometric shape from my imaginary city book that I'm making um, subscribe to my newsletter if you want to get that um, notification when that's made so I'm just gonna add well I'm gonna choose this camera I'm gonna go to um, top I'll just drag the camera over that so it's gonna render over that I'm gonna go to left view so I'll do it in the viewport so I'm gonna go to left um, press 5 to make it orthographic or at the two-point perspective just rotate that so that's I'm just going to do this quickly so there we go that's left I'm just getting the camera so it's basically fairly flat on you know facing down on the thing on the plane um, so let's do that all right and then front again um, front 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 Y front front okay there you go and R and Z just to make it like that so now it's facing downwards, so I go to naught to go to the um, camera, but at the moment it's in perspective, okay? 
So we need to make sure this camera is selected, go to camera, press 0 to go back to the view, and then click on orthographic. So that way it gives a two-point perspective. Let's go to there just to make sure we've locked the camera to view. Let's um, set it up in cycles. And what I did is I changed the material to um, the material I changed it to glow emission material. So I'm going to do new material because you'll see in a minute. Because I want the I only want the cracks to be visible. Yeah. So let's go to emission. Oh, I can never find it. Okay, there it is. And there you go. So that's all light now. One last thing we need to do to get these lines showing up really well, I go to freestyle, which is here. Okay, and it just says line thickness, and make sure I've got it on, um, yeah, like so. Okay, so we've got the line thickness going on, and I'm just going to do a quick render test like that. See, there's nothing there until it makes the freestyle lines. So the moment the lines are quite thin, you could have two lines on it. Um, but what I like is to have increased the line thickness so it's even thicker, like so. Um, that's very basic, but that gives you an idea. Then the next blog entry and the next video, I'm going to take this a pattern like this into Inkscape. Make sure it's all set up so the laser cutter can read it. You need to put particular information into the laser cutter, such as black vectors are going to be etch and red vectors are going to um, cut. So the so the black's going to etch, the red's going to cut. But you'll see that in the next my next vlog podcast and. Um, also you'll see the results of um, the cut so that's going to be out next week so thanks so much for tuning in and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here um, to subscribe to my newsletter for tips tricks tutorials and my own artwork if you feel like you value this then you can click on the Bitcoin donate button on my blog and you can always get personal tuition from me so thanks very much and I'll speak to you later bye for now